welcome to the last day of October. Yes, oh, it's dripping on me. It's just a beautiful morning. <laughs> October's going out with a bang. Um, it's been doing this pretty much from about four o'clock this morning. So yeah, fields are going to be absolutely like a pond. Oh, he's, he's risking it. Um, the horses are getting really upset because it's been, I've stayed in bed slightly longer because of the rain and obviously the clocks have gone back. Is that right? It's one of those things I always think you have to really think about. Um, and so they think I've totally forgotten about them, which I haven't. I promise them I haven't, but I'm just not really tempted by this weather. Anyway, I'm going to put my best coat on and chuck some hay over the door. And that will have to do them until this weather decides to move on. It's just charming, isn't it? Charming. It is a beautiful day now after the rain this morning. But it's very windy, very windy. And at some point it's like crazy windy. But um, in between that, it's lovely. So I just come out to poo pick. And I thought, I thought I'd been quite clever. So I thought I would show you what I've done. Artie and Sienna have been using this corner part of the village to kind of chat. And I think where we don't have a huge amount of grass, you can see it's pretty, there's just not much out there. They started chewing the wood, which is really annoying because Artie never did that before. And I think he sort of shown Sienna. It's very muddy around here, look. That's where they've been standing so much. He sort of showed Sienna, which is really annoying. Anyway, I thought to try... I ran out of tape, but to try and stop them, I would wrap tape around. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think it looks rather neat. Um, it's a shame I didn't do a better job sort of here and had enough to do there. But, yeah, fingers crossed this will... It's like having a little cast on it. Hopefully this will help um, stop them from destroying the post, most importantly. And also I don't want them to chew, so I'm just trying to tuck a little bit in because that's the kind of thing that Artie will grab hold of and then yank and pull and it won't take much to pull it over that screw. Good morning from my usual place behind Coco's lovely white ears. Um, it is a really beautiful day today. It's actually just clouded over a tiny bit, but it's been beautiful, like proper blue skies and sunshine, which I think is a lovely way to start a Monday and, you know, the 1st of November. I think November's a bit of a rubbish month, isn't it? There's not a huge amount going on in November, but even so, I always think it's, true, it's good to try and start positive on a Monday because uh, knowing the week, it always tends to get a little bit more worse as the week, go, the week goes on, I should say. Anyway, um, I hope you're all well and I hope you all enjoyed Halloween. It's not really anything I'm interested in. Um, not one for a scary movie, nor am I one I'm a bit old for trick-or-treating. Uh, so, anyway, let's kick on with a much fresher feeling week. Like There's definitely a bit more of a nip to the air today. Um, but I don't mind when the skies look like that. No idea if they're going to fit me. But can we just appreciate this absolute bargain from eBay? Um, these are some toggy jumpers, I guess, jumpers breeches, and £13, including postage, and they're brand new. Sometimes you get absolute bargains on eBay, so let's hope they fit, um, but they look beautiful and they feel great, and I actually haven't had a toggy pair of jumpers in a very long time, so I'm excited, but they look beautiful. What a steal! So with the lovely blue skies and I actually had enough time after work, I decided to give the long raining a bash with Sienna again. So I've done this once before, well over a month ago, and she wasn't ready for it and she got quite upset about it. She's quite a sensitive mare when it comes to stuff touching her body. So I managed to rope dad into helping me and he was having a little bonding session with her while I was sorting out my lunge lines. And it was good, but as expected, she was very sensitive to begin with. So I had managed to get my lunge line through my stirrup and was ready to move round and as dad put his through she panicked as expected so we stopped reassured her started again and we decided to go with just one lunge line through first of all and I led her from the other one 
just so she could get used to it. Because like I say, she's really sensitive to stuff touching her body. She was tricky about a rug, tricky about the saddle to begin with. So dad had one lunge line and I led from the other one. And I still had mine through the stirrup, but then back to the bit so that she could get used to it beside her neck. And this was the best way for her to cope, really, because she only had to worry about that one rein to begin with. And dad managed to get, you know, start to touch her with it without her getting upset. And she actually learned super quickly, which was brilliant. So we just walked around the arena, spending time changing the rein, that kind of thing. And then by the end, we did actually manage to get both lunge lines on her and her walking quite confidently. Obviously, dad should have a hat on. He wasn't actually expecting to do this. He was meant to be just walking out in front without touching her, but plans changed. And as you'll see, his lunge line is very long, so he was quite a way back off of her. Morning from a very misty start, but I've got a beautiful sunrise going on over there. It's actually frosty this morning. I didn't realise. The mist is, like, clearing constantly at the moment, but... I started leading them out and then by the time I got to the field I realised there is a bit of a frost which means now I've got to get put Haley down the field I hate turning them out and frosted just think it risks colic so that was stupid of me I should have realised before I started leading them out because once I'd led the horses out they weren't exactly going to accept me turning around and saying let's go back to the stables um, it's not a thick frost or anything like that and I, I think it's going to sort of melt away really quickly but still no, I've got to carry haylage everywhere. It's just really annoying. I wish I checked first. Put the haylage down. Of course. See, so thought I should go and roll on it. Just, you know, pack it into that brown that little bit harder. Slay. Oh, she eats it still. Helpful. Um, it's cold. I mean, obviously, this is a frost, it's cold. But it's cold very cold look at that look at that though how incredible is that it's stunning um yeah i think it's two degrees i've been there recently it's been like no lower than six or seven my fingers are cold and i forgot to put some gloves on i forgot what it feels like to be cold in the morning you join me with having a ride with the lovely bee look at that sky it's actually warmed up so much i mean that was it was two degrees this morning and I don't know what it is now, but I'm toasty. Um, feeling slightly concerned because Corporal Arty got medium weights on. Um, thankfully, no necks. But um, yeah, I just thought, oh, it's just so beautiful now. I'm loving it. Anyway, I feel like I'm on a bit of a hamster wheel today because I am trying to get a lot of work done in a shorter space of time so that I can make sure I'm back this afternoon. What you worried about, pony? Right. Wait, oh, no, we're okay. I thought I might have to put my phone away then. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get us through quite a bit of work so that I can get back because I really want to go over the long running again with Sienna today. I think it's really important to kind of repeat yesterday's exercise. I'm so gutted that we my phone ran out of space so that I couldn't show you her actually going around with two long wings, um, two lunge lines on and looking really quite happy. I mean, I was, I was thrilled we even got that far. In the beginning, my dad legit said to me maybe you just have to forget this stage and I was like it's not going to happen we've got, got to do it um so yeah the end result she you know that was we were actually long reining her we could just about touch her on her side she was a bit jumpy but we could touch her on the sides and yeah felt really like a big achievement so um repeat that again today and I think dad can help me so that's why I wanted to make sure I got back in time this afternoon and yeah so uh finish riding B and then I'm off to probably my most favourite job and it's just one of those you should, one of those jobs where you feel really lucky that you get to do it because it's super easy it's a, a lovely lady who looks after Billy in fact and then I hack with a girl that rides her horse and we've become really good friends and it's just a really lovely ride it's a really nice ride it's like a really you have a really good catch up and you're getting paid for it I mean what could be better uh, and when the weather's like this it'll be delightful so I'm looking forward to my next job um so yeah anyway I'm going to get on and give this little girl a school and just enjoy this weather Round two of long reining, and wow, she just 
took to it like a duck to water today. She'd remembered everything from the day before. Um, donut meat, forgot to check I had enough storage on my phone. So there are no clips of me long reining her, which is really annoying and gutting. But anyway, dad did a wonderful job. He started her off again so I could lead her. And we literally just repeated the day before. But it ended up that she was um, actually went off on her own and I stood out the way. And then I long reined her. And lots of turning, going over the poles. I couldn't believe it. On day two, we'd come so far. Do excuse dad's interesting way of doing it he's never long reigned in his life so he's doing a pretty good job that's a fun game isn't it playing with my glove i have to actually rescue my glove i feel like she would actually probably consume it um oh, i feel so gutted but so happy at the same time i put my phone on the fence because we long reigned her again for the second time and she was amazing she was so good we got straight into it the setup bit is the hardest bit with her so like putting the um reins on that kind of thing is the bit she finds the trickiest but actually she got straight into it dad took her out first i've got a tiny bit of footage with dad got her and then i took over which was really nice she actually went round um without someone in front of her or leading her so it's just oh exciting um i'm absolutely shocked how quickly she's got into it this time around like i say last time she wasn't um very happy about doing it at all whereas this time she seems to have settled into doing it just so quickly so it's so exciting um i'm thrilled with her the fact that i got a chance to do it <laughs> it's not just dad dad's never long reined in his life either um it just feels amazing it feels very exciting now she's chewing the rope lovely um so yeah so the kind of next thing really is to just keep doing it and hopefully get to a stage where i can sort of set her up and go off on my own morning it's oh, I've just seen three deer at the bottom of the field. You won't be able to see them very <laughs> though. Oh, it's frosty. It's probably no worse than it was yesterday, but oh, I don't know. Actually, it feels it feels like a kind of heavier frost. I didn't really plan for this. Should have checked the weather. I think I'm gonna have to go and muck out and leave them in. But Sienna and Artie are already pretty. Oh, morning, Angus. Um, already really cross. <laughs> Not gonna go down well. And I don't think I can get back till. There are actually five deer at the bottom of the field. I've never seen that before. Never seen five. So we've seen four. Wow. It's obviously getting bigger the... I don't know, do you get a herd of deer? guess so. Um, amazing. Anyway, Angus, claws, please, claws. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm just causing myself more trouble for time. I think they're going to have to stay in, but worst of all, the hunter out tomorrow. So they're going to have to stay in tomorrow. So that's going to really pee them off and said that i think it's meant to be um cold for the next two or three nights so i guess it's making a difference does it um right look at those two i am going to have to get on with it and get them knocked out and also go and chase the haylage guy because i'm gonna get through a lot of haylage this week and i don't have any left so right i'm gonna stop talking and get on with it afternoon oh actually nope it's not quite afternoon Nearly. Um, I can't finish the vlog. It's been such a higgledy, piggledy, weird, odd vlog this week. Sorry. It's sort of nothing really happened. Oh, that's windy. Yay. As it always is. Nothing really happened. Exciting. And I ended up like just doing random bits. So sorry about that. Um, I keep thinking, like, especially when I'm out hacking, and obviously when you're on your own, I have lots of time to think about things. And I keep thinking, oh, I wish I, you know, could make things better quality and all that because i know like the, the long reigning of sienna today um today yesterday and monday you know the quality is really rubbish but i keep looking behind to check there's no walkers um but my main importance at, at that point in time is always the horse and what i'm doing with them and actually whatever i get on camera is just a bonus so i think that is how it's going to stay i'm afraid and that's why sadly the thumbnails are always rubbish as well because I've rarely got anyone to take a picture of them that's nice or anything like that. So, oh, about to come up to this bend and you just don't know who might be walking around the corner. And Boots, here, has seen the cows over there and thinks it's really exciting. Oh, the cows are playing, that's why. Okay, I should put my phone away. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. Sorry it's here, goddick, goddick. I will continue to try and improve and get better at vlogging. Um... And it's still been a great week with Sienna, even though she has been tricky with the separation anxiety that she has. The long raining has been brilliant. And yeah, that sort of winter life has come back in and it's a pain in 
the bar already. Anyway, right, go. Have a good week, guys.